She's a bit scared, her cheeks are flushed, and her blue eyes glittering. For saving us from the demons and for your timely entrance, I swear I don't know who has enraged me more today, the demons or the oh-so-affable master of this house. Um, Tell me about yourself. I'm a bard. Uh, what else? I only arrived at Kadepris recently. I'm touring the whole of Mendev and far beyond its borders to perform for devoted fans. What can you tell me about the master of the house? <laughs> He's right next to me. About the Count? I've wanted to smash a jug over his head about five times today already. He just brings that feeling out in people? It's one of his many talents. Other than that, well, you've probably already heard about the Arende family. All I could say is that the Count's servants flee this place like rats from a sinking ship. No one ever stays here long, even though he pays them extravagantly. I even heard one servant complain that he always feels uneasy in the Count's home, like someone's watching him. Unseen eyes staring at the back of his head, even if his back is to the wall, even if he turns around. I don't know if I believe all these tales, but I'm just telling you what I've heard. Are you deliberately talking as if I'm not here? <laughs> Excellent. Like any polite host, I shall return the favor and act as if you're not here either. <laughs> Can you get somewhere safe on your own? I'm going to stick around here for a while. I'm sure you must have killed or scared off most of the demons. The house is safe. Good luck. May uh, Desna be with you. That is not far. I'm missing every hit. Am I doing something wrong? Uh, you're missing every hit, like, in combat in Pathfinder? If you're talking melee hits, your chance to hit is determined by your attack, and part of your attack is determined by your strength. So, like, if you... or, or um, in the case of some characters, your dexterity. So, you want to make sure your attack is as high as possible and the character is doing the swinging. Wait, failed ritual site. Uh, let's just do this first. All right, so the party took damage when we went over that rubble uh, a minute ago, so we're gonna have to use another channel, I think. Missed me already. Oh Luckily, my god, I thought I turned those off. No. Three years without missing a single day. Oh my god. There you are at last. You took your time. I, I thought perhaps you got lost on the way here. Ping, ping, ping. I was already regretting not drawing you a map. Three years. It's a tragedy to see one's house in such a sorry state. I always had a few guards in my service, day. you know. I hope those blockheads died honorably and didn't simply flee at the first sign of danger. Borgus turns toward the corridor with a pensive expression on his face. My manor, you see, contains several items that are of great value to me. I wish to retrieve them before they are discovered by my fellow citizens who are in the current chaos seem to have taken thieving and marauding like ducks to water. So here's what I want you to do. Take a stroll through my house, peek into the rooms, and if you find anyone, kill them on the spot. That'll te- wow. That'll teach any other opportunists to stay away from Horgus Worm's manor. While I was standing here by the entrance, I could clearly hear the sound of someone rooting around inside. Any possessions of mine you find in here, you could keep. It's all as good as lost to me anyway. When you're sure the house is empty, give me a signal from the study window, wave a torch around or something like that, you can decide when you get there. I've done many things in my life, but playing the part of an intrepid mercenary rummaging through someone else's tastely decorated and poorly planned mansion is a novelty to me. How droll. I deeply regret you had to participate in this, my dear Count. Come now, I love a good caper, even when the setting offends my aesthetic sensibilities. Uh, what are the valuable items and that they're worth risking your life by going back to the manor? Never you mind. I'm paying you to clear out the ruffians inside, not ask questions. He glares at you for a few seconds. In any case, you will learn what this is all about just as soon as you clear the way to the study. Restrain your curiosity for now. What do you think, guys? Do you think he's got a... I don't know. There's a person up there? Or a pet. Or he's, he's got some summon demon pet. Forbidden love. You're not coming in with me? The very notion. You think I hire guards to do my bidding so I can put myself in danger? No, no, no. I've taken my fair share of risks today already. But all the same, you took the risk of coming here even though you're well aware of the danger. What is it that draws you so strongly like a moth to flame? Camellia. That's enough. Oh, it seems I hit a sore spot. Alright, I understand. Well, get on with it. Or are you waiting for a special order? I shall await your signal. Good luck in there, I suppose. Why 
Let's do a let's do a couple buffs here. Hang on. Bark skin on her. Wait a minute. I just realized my party's formation is all mucked up. You should be in the back. Should be like that. And put bark skin on the bear. Bark skin is such a simple spell, but it's basically armor that scales with level. And not many classes get it. And it's one of the reasons I love druids in this game. Do not be a Do not waver. <laughs> Did you see that Shulk hit him? And he went over there. <laughs> She's like, bye. Shulk is silent but deadly, chat. I hope you appreciate this. I'll go ahead. A box filled with a variety of whips and floggers. What? Collars of various sizes? Oh gosh, chat. This guy was into BDSM. That's it. That's the answer. Oh, the waiting's He's got a secret fun. BDSM room. F Fifty Shades of Pathfinder. <laughs> What's floggers? I know what flogging is. I don't know what a flogger is. Flogging is when you, like, take someone's head and you shove them underwater until it's very uncomfortable to pull them up. It's like a torture thing. I refuse to accept their statement. Guide my blade! I like how the bear runs over to the bookshelf. Like, the bear's the one that's going to uh, grab the loot. That's waterboarding? Isn't... I know the way. Oh my gosh. A new arrival. I guess I don't know my torture methods. Hold on. Uh... Define... Flo uh... Define flogging. The victim is repeatedly hit with a whip or stick. Oh wow, I thought it, I thought it involved water. Okay. What is this? The door to the garden is blocked. Opening it is currently impossible. A blunt, heavy blunt object was clearly tried to use to break down the door. The lock is broken and the door cannot be opened. Alright, we've got level ups. Uh, Alright, so our Drovier is hitting level 4. Which, uh, does that get us anything... Uh, plus four to saving throws against spell-like and supernatural abilities. And communal aspect, the Drovier's main thing. Can imbue your allies with the aspect of an animal. As a standard action, choose an animal totem and grant the abilities of that totem to every ally within 30 feet. Uh, this ability does not need to be consecutive, but must be used in 10-minute increments. If she uses the ability to grant a new aspect, the previous aspect immediately ends. So this is the uh, AoE buffing. Let's see, do I already have all of the... Yes, I do. All right. Okay. Uh, what are the aspects we get first that we can buff our party with? Monkey, plus four to athletics, and you get the throw anything feat. <laughs> we can throw poop. Gorilla, plus four competence bonus to combat maneuver. That's like... Um, Knockdowns, trips, uh, things like that. Raccoon! Plus two to trickery and stealth. Raptor! Plus 20 speed. Oh, we are totally giving the whole party 20 bonus speed for now. Your legs become built for running speed. Yeah, it's like in, in the, the story, it's supposed to be like you're actually getting physical changes when this buff hits here. 
All right, uh, let's level up the Paladin. Um, okay, wait, so she would get level four. I'm wondering if I should... Wait, she gets channel positive energy? My Paladin reaches fourth level, how often? Using this consumes two uses of Lay on Hands. Oh God. Okay, so it's, it's not nearly as often. Um... I'm tempted to just stop leveling Paladin and start leveling... Where is it? Tower Shield Specialist. I'm tempted to go into this. Uh... Heavy. Oh man, I would ah, shoot that would muck it up because I already spent a feed on tower shield proficiency for her, so it would be wasted. So I would have to go back and reset her. Does she get mounted combat for free? Oh no, it's a prerequisite for mounted shield. Never mind. All right, so either way, I would have to respec her. All right, so then for now, I'll keep doing paladin. All right, uh, charisma is fine. And let's get that very important first point and some more stuff. What is she best at? Persuasion. Okay, she got a bunch of spells too. All right, Spirit Hunter. Uh, she gets another Hex. The Heal Hex has been very useful. Uh, how often can she, let me see. Uh, as a swift action, you can put a plus one bonus for one minute to any weapon you're holding. For a furthest of the first one is plus one. Uh, ghost touch. This property is consuming an amount. How often can she do this? Wisdom modifier. So your wisdom determines how often she can turn her weapon into a lightsaber. I thought that's why she's got some of this. Why does she need charisma? How does that help her? Uh, I think for now I'll just I'll finish this. All right, um, ba -ba, I'll get those. Do that. All right, uh, we get another hex. Right now we've got the heal one, which has been very useful. What else do we got? Uh, let's see, ward, bonus to armor class and resistance. That's awesome, how long? Uh, the ward lasts until the warded creature is hit. Oh gosh, so it, it's for one attack. All right, slumber, and try to put someone to sleep. Secret, receive a metamagic feat as a bonus feat. Protective luck, uh, this uh, creature of the 30 feet running around has started by effect. One round, nails, misfortune. Anytime the creature makes an ability check, attack roll or saving throw or skill check, it must roll twice and take the worst result. A will save negates the hex. At 8th level, it's my one round. A hex, uh, this hex affects all rolls the target must make while it lasts. Whether or not the save is successful, a creature cannot be the target of this hex again for one day. I wonder if you could set this to automatic casting. That's awesome. Uh, it does these phase of bonus feet. What is dazzling dis uh, display? Try looking at ice plant. Uh, plus two natural bonus to AC. Oh, that that's also nice. Uh, say so they're one round, just minus four. Fury receives a morale bonus on attack rolls, plus two fortune. Uh, 
How long does it last? Oh, a number of rounds equal to your Wiz modifier. Okay, not very long. Uh, so magically resilient, immune to sleep for a number of rounds. All of these are so short. Battle Ward, grant uh, Battle Ward the next time folks have an attack for Sorry, the Ward activates. Um, the Shaman makes an extra AOO each round. This ability stacks with AOOs from combat reflexes. At 8th uh, level, the Shaman gains weapon specialization feat in a weapon of her choice as a, combat, as a bonus feat. At 16th level, the Shaman gains the greater weapon focus feat as a bonus feat for the same weapon chosen. Wow, that is awesome. Uh... Alright, I want to try Misfortune. Making the enemy roll twice and taking the worst roll constantly would be incredible. I want to see how often that can be used. You can trust me. Okay, it does let you put it on autocast. Let's see what happens with that. No one stands in Smile. my way. The world's not ending just yet. All right, our oracle friend. Let's make him ever more handsome. And he's got three points. Let's put the one point there and there. Wow, his persuasion's really high. And I have to choose a spell to gain. Um, let's see, cure moderate wounds. You know, heal skills are of course always fantastic. Summon skills. Probably lesser restoration, so that if we get, uh, that, that's to basically, if someone, like, damages your strength, like one of your stats, you use that to get rid of it. You need to have someone in the party with that. Alright. Wizard, I, I don't under, I don't like the idea of a wizard that burns through your scrolls a lot. Actually, I'll do that. Just to, just to cap that out. Choose two spells. Duration one minute a level. Are her... The way that she uses her spells, is it like a wizard or is it like a sorcerer? Where she choose... Like, does she have a pool or does she have to prime them? I'm guessing a pool with how small the selection of spell... It Wait, it is a wizard? Oh, man. <sighs> Rays are good. If her dex is high. 16. Can you mock love the new Pathfinder? Yeah, very much enjoying it. I don't know if I'm keeping her in the party or not. We'll see. Anything new? Oh wow. Oh my god, she doesn't have stuff loaded. Create pit. All right. Chip has a level up. Okay, I think we're good. All right, we're gonna tap quick save. Time's not waiting. A bright future awaits us. 
Oh, skip the pleasantries. All right, let's continue on. They will break against our well, we've already found friends. Shulk, get this guy. Here you oh, he did. Run them through. And eighty percent chance to pick the lock. I'll smash it if it fails. Helpful. We got it. Am I not? Uh, what was that? A magic shirt. Where did it go? There it is. Silver robe, plus one bonus to all saving throws against fear. Okay. Follow my lead. I like how my bear just ran up and opened that door. Whoa! There's a trap back there. What's on your mind? I wonder. The spirits guide me. I, am I was like, why did it pause? And it's because there was a trap there. You know, that, I just remembered. We're in this dude's house. He could have been like, hey, that room explodes if you open that door. But he was just like... Let's see what happens. <laughs> like, dude, you could award it. You're the one who has to heal the wounds. He's like, oh, if, if someone falls in the forest and I heal them, did they ever fall? So, wait, sophisticated is... Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm in the other rich dude's house. Never mind. Never mind. Sophisticated instruments of torture. We're, at, we're in Chubby's... Uh, we're in the Chubby rich guy's house. I, for, I forgot, all, all y'all rich houses look alike. I think you'd be very offended if you heard me say that. The door is locked by some unusual or magical means. There is no lock to be seen. I'll remove this obstacle. Uh oh. This okay. should do it. Very nice. This bathtub. I think we just stole the soaps. Your bath bombs are mine. Uh, oh. let's see. Yes, what? Let's have some you fun. Are today's sacrifice. Ow. Let's try this way. I I think they got feared, and I'm not sure from who. Descari cultus will saving throw failed. Against what? What is this? Shulk used ability, period. Is Shulk doing it? Hang on a sec. Girl, what are you doing? Marching Terror. Uh, whenever it lands a hit on an enemy for the first time, the target receives more damage and other enemies must pass a saving throw or be feared. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot she had that. <laughs> I was like, why is everybody scared? And it's like, because Shulk is a bloodthirsty maniac, that's why. Be. We will be victorious. Oh! I, I, yeah, th this, the last time we saw one of these, it downed Sila. Oh, that's what I like to see. Shulk said no. No, you ain't doing that again. Pay attention. Wait, what? Is there a trap? Why did the game auto-pause? The game auto-pauses when there's a trap or combat or a hidden item. That is not far. Oh, the chest is trapped. Open your heart to me. I 
I hope you got it. Okay. This. Uh, short bow and some other stuff. Together we stand. Let's see. That does two d six. What does this heal? Uh, one d six. Okay, same. So we need to go over here. Them to listen to reason. Go for their heart. Ah, oh, dang, we took a hit. Precision and grace. You're irrelevant. I found uh, something. I found something. The danger is past. You can signal Horgus from the window. I tire. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. Uh oh, a bunch of the party is saying they're tired. No reason to pause. Loot the place first, yeah. So, it looks like we cleared it out, but we got this door here, which we can't open. And, what's this? This is a secret passage or something? Let me take a look again. Take all the spoons? What's the red symbol in the top right corner? Over encumbered, we're carrying too much. Bear is going to lose the chest. I'll go ahead. All right, maybe he'll open the locked room when he comes up here. I wonder if we're gonna call him out on the uh, the torture devices. Is this not the study? I mean, I guess that's his bedroom? Which room's the study? I'm looking for a window I can interact with. I know the way. Oh, here we go. The mansion is clear, you're alive, fine work. I was right, it was something. My secret door remains unopened. Fantastic, I wasn't too late. Dude. Is in there. Family secrets about to be revealed. So thrilling. I heed the voice of the spirits. <laughs> what a find. Wait, what? What did you guys just find? Is it just the door? Uh, happy family, Horgus, an unknown half-elf, and their dark-haired young daughter. The painting is captioned, Horgus, Gorm, Iris, and Camellia. Wait, Camellia's the daughter? You can trust me. I thought... I didn't realize she was related. Someone asked her if she was related recently, and she said no. The paintings are right where I left them. Very good. Horgus, Gorm, thanks you for your help. There's something off about the paintings in front of you. The blonde-haired boy in the Gorm family colors doesn't look like Horgus in the least. The family portrait depicts Horgus alongside an unknown half-elf woman and a little girl who bears a striking resemblance to Camellia. Here's that in the paintings, Horgus. So you've noticed. It seems there's no point in hiding it anymore. Uh, he's silent for a few seconds and sighs and presses his lip into a hard line. I have two secrets. Camellia is, in fact, my daughter. And I am not the real Horgus Gorm. Attack! Camellia's your daughter. Yes, illegitimate, that is to say.